道を踏みしめて君は目覚めてゆく天使の微笑みで連れ出して Hello, this is Ryan, one of your local HBO boys, boys with a Z, okay? You put the Z there purposely. I know you're not trying to mess up the name, so say it with the Z. It's not that hard. Anyway, James, my boy, our boy, James, as you might recall, did a solo show for one episode once. <laughs> he did Stargirl. I have been on him to do another Stargirl, but he refuses. He, every time I bring it up, he deflects, deflects, deflects. I would like some help from you, the audience. Please write in. Tell James, at James Watches Men on Twitter, give us more Stargirl, okay? No, it's not a good show. Yes, it's torture for him. That's why we want him to do it. Because we like when James is tortured. He has minimal time with two children. A full-time job. Let's make him recap and review a show he doesn't like. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Yeah, it would. As you might have just heard, a bit of a slap intro song just occurred. Wait for the outro. It's nuts. So, and you've also, you know read the title of this. So yeah, on HBO Max is a anime, Hunter x Hunter. Now, I'm not the local anime expert. In fact, James has had a full podcast called Anime Rewind, the totality of which is available to our Patreon patrons at www.patreon.com slash the HBO Boys, but the Z. $1 a month, you can get way more content at least two hours or more a month. So, pretty sweet, Dale. Head on over there. Just a dollar. It's a dollar. I don't know why I always get so aggressive about this. It's a dollar. Anyway, I'm going to try to say anyway as many times as possible in this podcast. So, I just thought it would be funny for me, an anime novice, to do a single podcast about an anime. Would it be funny? A waste of time also, perhaps? Maybe I'll have James as a guest on my podcast about anime. <laughs> See, I knew it was funny. I knew it would be. The Wikipedia... <laughs> this <laughs> Every time I do this poorly, I think it will be funnier. The Wikipedia entry for Hunter x Hunter. Now, is it supposed to be called Hunter x Hunter? That's what it says. Is there a nomenclature I'm missing? Perhaps James will be here. Not in this episode, for sure. He's very asleep. It's... 3 a.m. where he is. But perhaps he'll be here sometime later. Because I will do more than one of these. It might be two, but at least it will be more than one, James. Gosh dang dick. Wikipedia says of Hunter x Hunter, a show that is on HBO Max. And it was one of the only HBO shows that were a half hour that I hadn't watched before. That was on HBO. Because I was like, I'm doing a, a single podcast about something. But it sure as heck ain't gonna be... An hour long. I don't got time for that. You don't have time for that. You might. I might. We all have time for that. Everything's fine. Abundant riches, hidden treasures, fearsome monsters, and exotic creatures are scattered around the world. Gon, which is the name of a young boy, he is 12 and his name is Gon, departs on a journey to become a pro hunter who risks his life in search of the unknown. Along the way, he meets other applicants for the hunter exam. Karapika, Leorio, and Kiliuyo. Perfect. Can Gom pass the rigorous challenges of the hunter exam and become the best hunter in the world? His wild and epic journey is about to begin. I want to be a narrator for anime so bad. The first Hunter X Hunter episode is called Departure X and X Friends. The fuck is with the X's? I don't know. Oh, should I swear? I'm going to swear. I'm going into this with nothing. I'll I'll give you a short speech about my anime prowess. I'm an anime novice, as I've mentioned before. I don't know if there's a term for how surface-level anime I am, but I'm a Attack on Titan, except I haven't finished it, and Addicted to One Punch Man kind of bro. One Punch Man, which 
I would say is declining in quality over time, but I still want it. Give me it. Hunter X Hunter. This is a dubbed version. I, you know, I'm at, I'm enough into reading. Not really. I will listen to only audiobooks when I drive long distances. But this is dubbed, and that's worse, in my opinion. I'm sure there are uh, there are two camps here, I assume. The side of which is like, I will watch anime as long as it's in English. And the side which is like, I'd like to see the original thing with the original voices. Which is actually the side I'm on. As much of a novice, a novi, if you will. I will. As much as I am that, that's kind of what I am. I, I do want it the original. It's dubbed. I'm going to deal with it. This is my first dubbed anime that I've watched in a very long time. Probably since Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, all the all the Dragon Balls. When as a kid. Uh, oh, you know, Pokemon too, I guess. Pokemon, right? For me personally, you, you forget. And by you, I, again, me, me. You forget that Pokemon was an anime. It's just so ubiquitous at this point that it's a cartoon and it was made in Japan. I don't know if that's the definition of anime. <laughs> so little information here. The art reminds me, just as we're going into it straight, Pokemon, it reminds me of Pokemon. But again, I haven't seen almost nothing for reference, so. We come in on Gon. He has a really cool leaf hat. He's trying to catch something to take the hunter exam. He is 12 years old. His Aunt Mido is raising him. His Aunt Mido does not want him to go take the hunter exam for reasons. Gon's old man caught the same beast Gon is trying to catch right now when he was his age. The swamp monster. Aunt Mido says that if Gon catches the swamp monster, he, at the ripe young age of 12, can go take the hunter exam. Obviously, she has set out a task for him that she doesn't believe he can do, or hopes at least he doesn't, because she doesn't want him to go. Gon, though, very good at this, using the tree as leverage, very smart boy. He also does like a flip. He's This is fishing, basically, for a gigantic fish. There's a thing I say, and I think I it, it is applicable to this moment. There are two kinds of people in this world. Ones who can do flips, and ones who can't do flips. I can't do a flip. Can you do a flip? You know who can do a flip? Gone. Gone can do a flip. And he catches the swamp monster. His dad, Ging? 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 I, I, I thought it was Gene the whole time, but it's spelled G-I-N-G. Jing? Jing? Jing. Jing? God, this is going to be tough was the last one to catch this same fish at the same age Gone is right now. Aunt Mido is talking to an old lady who I assume also lives with them, probably Aunt Mido's mother, although I don't know. And the old lady is like, you're going to have to let Gone go now. Uh, gone girl, gone. This moment reminds me of Game of Thrones in that the ages of the heroes, at least when it applies to the Game of Thrones books, is so young. Also, I think that informs a bit of what my fictional scope is here, which is small. I like I like the things I like, and the outside is scary. But I mean, in the books, Daenerys is like 12 years old, and the things are happening to her, you're like, Jesus, she is a child. Gross. At this point, I went IMD being, I'd said to myself I wasn't going to do it. I said to myself, I was like, I'm just going to watch the show. I'm going to take notes, but I'm going to watch the show straight through. I'm not going to go Wikipedia-ing or IMDb-ing. I'm just going to watch it and take it all in. Couldn't do that for more than five minutes. I want to know every weird detail. It doesn't even make it better for me. It perhaps could make it worse in certain moments, but it's a compulsion, so can't just, like, stop. Like in the original series, the non-dubbed adapted version from the manga, Gone is voice acted by a woman. I grew up on Bart being played by a woman, Ash being played by a woman, so this is cozy to me, like a warm blanket. Gone is played by Erica Mendez, who is the voice of everything that has ever existed, IMDb says. And a year younger than me, by the way. Cool. Not jealous. Matt Mercer is in this, dude. McCree from Overwatch is in this. Okay. Shoot. So anyway, Amido is like, yo, your father abandoned you. Isn't that messed up? Gon is like, no, that's amazing. He must have had a great reason to leave. <laughs> what the fuck? Mino is like, uh, what, dude? You're delusional, young bro. Gon is like, well, listen. He gives a bit of a thought and thinks... Whatever my father left for must have been incredibly important. He chose it over me, right? So if it's that great, I also want it. I want to prove to a father I've perhaps, I don't know if he's met him, but sure hasn't seen him in a bit. So this second sentence makes more sense than the first one. The first one is like, I'm glad he left. 
<laughs> and the second one, I was like, it, he says, it's like, I'm, I'm not glad he left. I'm sad he left, which makes more sense. Anyway, so Gon and Aunt Mito say goodbye to each other with a pinky swear. So if I lie, stick a thousand needles on my eye and seal it with a kiss. As he runs away, as I think about Ash leaving Pallet Town, seeing Ho-Ho above him. Yeah, I remember Pokemon. He gets on a boat. The whole fucking town is there to say goodbye to him. So being a hunter is, I assume, like being a celebrity or being like being a Pokemon master, because that's my version of what a celebrity is. Immediately, the boat people, people on the boat, are like, you're going to fail. There are other people who are going to take the hunter exam. By the way, there's an exam he has to pass. There are obviously a few main characters on this said boat that we're going to meet very soon. Gon sees a sailor boy being bullied. He goes and helps him out. The captain comes out, has a very red nose, seems like a very drunk person. Gon realizes that there's a storm coming just by, like, sense of smell. And also, Jesus Christ, he can jump. Pirates music is occurring. Gon is jumping all over the goddamn place. The captain's like, I wonder if this is Ging's son. That's the voice he has. Anyway, giant storm is actually happening. A rogue wave occurs. The captain's going straight up the wave like he doesn't give a shit. Very drunk thrill seeker. Everyone's life on the ship is worthless as long as he gets wasted and does cool tricks on neat waves. The rest of the crew is sick. All the people who are going to take the test. Except for Gon and a few others. Gon is trying to make people feel better with herbs and spices and shit. Less seasick. There's another blonde person who is fine. Whose name we'll learn is Kurapika. And there's a guy who I was at first calling glasses spiky head. Who he doesn't like apples. Need to know that. And he's Leorio. A.K.A. McCree. A.K.A. Matthew Mercer. And then there's a sailor. The one that Gon helped earlier. He has orange shirt. And he's getting water for the sick. His name is Kotso. The captain asks the people who aren't sick, which is Kurapika and Leorio, why they want to be hunters. Leorio's like, fuck, I gotta tell you four. Shut up. I'm not telling you shit. Kurapika is like, I have secrets and I can't tell you. That's not how he says it. He's like, I have secrets. They're my secrets and I can't tell you. Which is bad writing, but okay. Gone is like, my dad's a hunter. I left Whale Island. And the captain at that point in his head is like, oh my god, Whale Island. This is King's son. Anyway, the captain is part of the hunter exam. It's already started, he tells Kurapika and Leorio once they're being hard to get. Then we get Kurapika's backstory. She is the sole survivor of the Kurta clan, a race with treasured irises that turns scarlet in times of anger or emotional agitation. This is from Wikipedia, by the way. I'm not just, like, ripping this. Four years before the series, the entire Kurta clan was eradicated by a band of thieves known as the Phantom Troop, Dickbags. The troop desecrated the bodies of his race by stealing their scarlet eyes following the genocide. Wowie. Thereafter selling them on the black market, he participates in the hunter exam alongside Gon, Leorio, and Kiloiua, who we have not met yet, in order to become a blacklist hunter, which is like a bounty hunter, assumably, and gain the resources to take vengeance for his race and retrieve their eyes. So that's like his whole backstory. Then we got Leorio Paradinite. Par- Paradinite? Got him. And it is a young adult who befriends Gon, Kurapika, and Kilo- Kilua. Kilua? I, Kalua? I'm just going to call him Kalua. You haven't met this guy. He's not in the first episode. During the hunter exam, he says he wants to be a hunter for the money. But I, I think that's a lie. Well, I think it's not a lie, but I think he has reasons that we don't know yet. Anyway, Leorio and Kurapika get in a stupid, stupid fucking fight about Leorio being like, you call me Mr. Leorio, and Kurapika's like, no. <laughs> and then Leorio's like, you fucking weird-eyed bitch. Your, your whole clan deserve to die. Which, like, <laughs> one of them's like, call me Mr. He says, call me Mr. And then the other one says, no. And then he jumps to the genocide of your race is fine with me. I'm glad it happened. Bit of a jump. Leorio, Jesus Christ. Any hoozles. There's a water spout ahead of them now. It's a goddamn water tornado. Going to take them all out. The captain's like, oh, shit balls. Okay, um, go do something with the sails, everybody. Leorio and Kurpika's like, we're going to have a, a fight with a blade and the fucking nunchucks in the middle of this. We're all about to die, but I'm, I'm going to do a fight. That's It makes a whole lot of sense for us to be fighting right now. Fuck, I'm glad the fucking genocide happened, you bitch. <laughs> 
You just met this one. You bet, bitch. This is a dude. They're all dudes, by the way. I'm, I'm calling Kurapika, I thought was a woman to begin with, but it's, I believe, another woman voice actor. This is hard to tell. It's just so funny to me. Like, call me Mr. Leorio. Call me Mr. Oreo. Pika Pika over here is like, no, thank you. I'm glad your fucking family's dead. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Anywhoozles, Koto goes overboard during all of this, and Kurpika, Pika Pika, and Mr. Oreo have decided to stop their fight for a moment to try to get him, but they both miss him like idiots. But Gon, who is better at jumping than them, I guess, jumped out, got Koto, and then Kurpika Pika and Mr. Oreo grab Gon's legs and then pull them all in. So together they can succeed! Koto thinks all three of them, and they're like, ha 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 ha, don't worry about it. You're welcome. This makes Leorio. This makes Mr. O- I don't know if to call them their real names. I like Mr. Oreo and Pika Pika. Fuck it. This makes Mr. Oreo and Pika Pika make up inexplicably, but whatever. I'm like, they make up because they go through a harrowing event. But if I was Pika Pika, I'd be like, fuck this dude. Like, I'll pretend to make up with you if I gain something from it. But you had a, like, a, we had a misunderstanding, a miscommunication. And you were glad my whole family was dead. The fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) The captain says that they are growing on him. He will drop them off all near the exam site and that they are moving on in the hunter's exam. The only three people on the ship to get past the first part of the exam. Wow. A large herd of hunter wannabes called by seasickness. And then a wild narrator appears out of nowhere. Like, there's not been a narrator. And then I was like, and there was like, and Gon begins his journey to become a hunter. I'm saying I should be the narrator. We should all go back to 2014 when this show started. There's like a hundred episodes. There are OVAs. Do y'all know what OVAs are? You know what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, there's a bunch of episodes. I'll at least do two of them. James? <sighs> and that was Hunter v. Hunter episode one. Again, named Departure X. And ex-friends. I assume those exes are, like, silent. <laughs> like, it would be... St- Hunter, Hunt. Is it just Hunter, Hunter? I need to go watch YouTube videos. And, like, see and shit. Anyway, if you guys want to watch Hunter x Hunter with me, please do so. I'll tell you, the patrons got this episode a day early. Because that's what a dollar gets you. 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. It's weird doing something alone when I'm, you know, we're 110 podcasts in, James and I doing recaps and reviews together. He always does the actual recap version because, you know, he's like organized and he takes notes well. And I'm, I'm all, I'm color commentary. I'm not built for plot. It's not in my bones. But anyway, I'm glad you, any one of you that listen to this, that was sick of you. And I'm glad you did it. If you're a patron, I'm going to say your name and the other 8,000 podcasts we're doing. I'm not going to say it here, but thank you very much for giving us money. We love money. Most people do. And come back here next time for Hunter v. Hunter, episode two, which is called I'm Stalling Test X of X Test. Jesus Christ. Gone, Kurapika, and Leorio reached Dolly Harbor and told by the captain to head for the cedar tree on the hilltop behind the city. The three are stopped by a group of masked people and an old woman posts a riddle requiring them to choose between two possible answers. Sounds like a goddamn hoot. Anyway, here's this another bop. One of the best parts of this show are the intro and outro musics. Musics is a word. Thanks for listening. You get rewarded with this goddamn slapper of a song. Okay, bye.